The interview question you do not want to miss. When should you use Kafka and when should you absolutely not? Welcome to day 14 of the Java and React full stack developer interview series. Let us start with when Kafka is the perfect fit. Imagine you are building an e-commerce app like Amazon. When a customer places an order, you want several services to be triggered. Order service logs the order, inventory service updates stock, notification service sends a confirmation email, analytics service tracks metrics. Now, instead of tightly coupling all these services, Kafka acts like a central hub. The order service publishes an order placed event to a Kafka topic. All other services subscribe and react in real time. This makes your architecture scalable, resilient, and asynchronous. Even if a service is down, it can process the event later. Now, here is when you should not use Kafka. Say you are building a personal finance tracker app. A user logs in, views their dashboard, adds expenses, or updates their profile. These actions are immediate and user-specific. Using Kafka here adds unnecessary complexity. A simple REST API is all you need. Kafka is not meant for direct request response patterns or small synchronous flows. It is overkill in low-traffic simple apps. Use Kafka for real-time, decoupled, distributed processing across services. Avoid Kafka for simple apps, direct APIs, or low-throughput needs. Make the right call when designing your system. Hit like, drop a yes in comment to get list of frequently asked interview questions in your DM, and stay tuned for day 15.